Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope everyone's doing fantastic this evening. I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys to kind of show you how the open records process works with 911 calls where I live in Augusta, Georgia. Pretty sure it's kind of like this everywhere. The 911 systems are a little bit different than the police departments. They're a lot more organized, a lot more efficient, and I've never had any kind of issues getting 911 calls or radio communication from officers. So let's dive right in here. So let's look over here and go to make request and I'll show you some of the ones I've already done. Let me show you those now. So these are all the ones I've made so far. Some of them cost money, some of them don't. Um, some of them doesn't, don't take very long to process so they don't charge. I never had to pay for a 911 call until they went to this new system. So let's go over here to make requests. So that's all you have to do. You have to sign up, you have to give your name your phone number, your email address, and, and your home address, and all of that stuff. It's got address here. You can't get by that. Um, I filed a complaint with the Attorney General on this. Um, I, you shouldn't have to give all this information just to get open records. But I haven't heard anything back from them. So, um, but you do. You have to give all that information. It's not a big deal for me. I mean, everybody knows where I live anyway, so it doesn't matter. So basically, go down here. You put your uh, what you need here. So you say 911 calls from uh, whatever area you're looking for if, if you can you don't need the officer's name or anything like that all you need to know is about when what day and about the area because they get a lot of 911 calls and it would be very difficult tracking yours down unless you was kind of narrowed it down so I would say like 911 calls from um, Professional Parkway, which was the 911 calls I requested today, and I just happened to have the body cam footage from the video from the uploader's channel. It has a date in it, so that that helped me out a lot. The date and the time, so that's what I work with. I don't know how far back they go with 911 calls. I'm pretty sure they go back a good little ways, but again, you can just select 911 emergency services, and then you can request radio traffic let's say you get pulled over and this is what I've done before so you get pulled over and you don't think that the, the officers being honest with you that they're trying to cop explain they're trying to make you think that you've done something wrong they try to trick you and all this the first question you should ask them is your body cam on that's your first question as soon as you ask that question you will give them their warning that they need to you better act right but you won't request body cam through this. This is just for 911 calls. And let's look down this list here. I haven't used any of this other stuff, but I found a few of them very fascinating. Administrator's offices. This is where you'll more, I'll more than likely find uh, Sheriff Roundtree's personnel file, disciplinary records, and what have you. They keep those at, at City Hall. I should have thought to get that. I'm going to go to Human Resources again. Um, I'm not going to say when, but at some point in time, I'm going to go back to Human Resources with pictures of that security guard or that uh, city worker and try to get him identified and also get Sheriff Roundtree's personal information, uh, public information, as much as I can, whatever they have on it. Animal services, not really sure what you can request from here, but I imagine all the employees' names. You can probably go up there, maybe even talk to the custodian of records and see what all they offer. There is no list anywhere that you can get you can look at to tell you. You just have to kind of go trial and error. And they'll let you know if, if they don't have what you're looking for. Um, central services, I don't know what that is. All this other stuff. There was another one in here on down. There's a lot in here, guys. You can get all kind of stuff. But just understand, this all costs money. It's not all free. The Richmond County Correctional Institute, which is where those inmates was working on that, on that crew, on that road. That's where they're from. So you can go through and get a... Uh, Quite a bit of stuff. Quite a bit of stuff. And I may use this to, uh, to just know where to up. Oh, yeah, you can upload files here. So I may send this. You know what I'll do? Let's go ahead and do it now. I'll do it while I'm, while I'm on here with you guys. Sorry for hearing all that pecking, guys. All right, so there we got that, and we're gonna change this back to, uh, we're gonna go to human resources on this one. Let's see how that goes. And 
they've already got my email in there, so I'm gonna put my phone number in. Let me go ahead and scroll it on up. Okay, so that's pretty good. Now we will go ahead and make our request. I will make another video or maybe even post it in my community tab. You guys know that I put a lot of updates in my community tab, so you can always go over and check out the latest things I'm working on, thumbnails for videos that I'm working on, and, and things like that, projects, um, and future projects, and, per and perhaps even a future collaboration. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now you know how to do open records requests with the 911 system. Have a good night. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.